Good afternoon. We're back with more Marvel Snap. Beginning the day at rank 79 and 8 cubes. I lost ranks from 82 and 0 cubes down to 79 from the end of the last video until this one. I'll be playing a discard deck today. Uh, Hella discard with Captain Marvel, Apocalypse, Lockjaw, and we'll see how it goes. I would like to have Dracula for this, but I don't have him. We'll try it without him and see what happens. I don't think I'll be able to make use of that extra energy on turn one. If it happened on turn two, it would have been good. We do have a featured location right now, which is Rickety Bridge. We'll see if it comes up. I'll save Blade to play after Lockjaw. Right now there is a significant risk of discarding Hella. I had to see the Cosmo there and not where the Lockjaw is. So here I'll play Gambit Blade and we'll see what happens. Can't delete anything on this lane. So one and four to take out Cosmo. Got it. Pulled the Infinite, great. Swarm, good. Pulled Death. So that's going to be a pretty strong lane there. Morbius here. And Hella next round. And I'd say it's worth a snap. Let's see, I discarded two cards, so I'll play one Swarm. And the other cards will go to Kunlun. See what were they? They were Captain Marvel and Death. Yep. Should be all good. I forgot about the swarm. It was Captain Marvel and Swarm. Death is right there on the board. I don't know why I thought I discarded death. Still, enough power to beat the destroyer, so all good. Sunspot down here. Blade has a 50 50 chance of hitting the right target. One in three chance of hitting the wrong target, one in three hitting the right target. I think I'll wait on the blade, try to improve the odds. Just put the power into Sunspot for now. Well, now Hella gets played, and so does Death. Uh, well, I have initiative, though, so I can simply kill the death. Only a 1 in 3 of hitting the right target here. Is it worth playing Blade? What do I have for turn 5? Right now, nothing. So I'll just pass, put the power into Sunspot. Oh, it's a Mr. Negative deck. Okay. Let's go... Blade... And do I play Swarm here as well? I 
guess so. I don't know why my opponent is snapping. Did he draw inverted Iron Man, maybe? Discarded the right card again. That's lucky. Lockjaw could be helpful. No, oh, I actually don't see a way that Lockjaw will be helpful except for points. For power. It's a Mr. Negative Galactus deck. What? What? I think my opponent forgot that uh, if you destroy Limbo, that's the final turn. Yeah, it happens. I make those mistakes all the time. Uh, TVA is not good for my deck. I would love if my opponent would play Storm or something like that. Gambit's good. Lockjaw would have a chance to pull something bigger, but I need a presence at all three lanes, really. Oh, and destroying his Wolverine isn't very helpful. Alright, well I can try for something bigger, and I can try for a destruction. And with the discards from for Morbius, I think it's worth going to Showdown. Okay, now I have a chance to destroy the void. Which would be fine, I guess. Uh, I hit the Wolverine. Nonetheless, it's good enough for a victory. That may be the first time I've ever seen someone playing Sentry. That wasn't a, a card added to their hand by some weird effect. I don't understand that card. Blade looks good on turn two. mind discarding any of those cards. But I'd prefer Swarm or Apocalypse. Death is fine as well. Drawing a card is good. Wouldn't have any don't really have anything to play though. I'll play Swarm on turn 4 if I don't draw something else. Just put the power into Sunspot for now. Uh, so that's what Ghost Rider will bring back. Looks like Captain Marvel and then Apocalypse. This is going to be Ghost Rider to Dust Domain. Oh, Jubilee. Okay. Hasn't discarded Hella yet. I 
There's mine. And Hella could bring death, so that will be the play on turn six. His will be what much more powerful though. So I play this, pulls death. Got Captain Marvel, but his will bring like Dracula. Or his will bring Infinite. Uh, I forget what the other things were. So I think I'm outclassed here. So I think I play the Morbius before the Lockta. I don't want that going back into the deck. I want it taking advantage of the discard effects and it doesn't need to be revealed in order to do that. So I can hide it there and that will prevent it from getting rogued or enchantressed. Oh, we'll throw out the Lockjaw. It's possible it gets Cosmo before I can play anything. Depends on what my opponent's playing. Nope, nope, I'm gonna have initiative, so at least I'll get the Gambit off. Though the Gambit doesn't have anything to kill. And there's a fair chance that this will discard Hella, but I still have the Apocalypse if it does. Wonder if I actually want to play Captain Marvel here first. Let's do that. Or do I want to play Blade and then Gambit? I think I'm going to play Captain Marvel. I don't know why my opponent's snapping. Oh, okay, he's Dr. Octopus. -ing. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, many Galactuses. Of course, because he Dr. Octopus. I run into Galactus so much and it is tiresome. Does anyone ever have fun playing against Galactus unless you have the counter to it? And it seems like in the 70s, 80s, probably 90s, you run into that deck a lot. I guess there's a lot of players buying Galactus, so there's. Or the players that get lucky enough to draw him don't have much difficulty getting into the higher ranks. I'll wait to play Blade until after Lockjaw. Galactus probably needs a rework and Zabu probably needs a rework. Those two decks, the Zabu Darkhawk and the Galactus deck, have the game in, I would say, not a good state right now. I would, and I, I don't agree with the leader and arrow nerfs either, as I have said before, and the reason is because those are free to play cards and they allowed players to counter Pay to win cards, removing them only hurts the free to play players. Though I, of course, acknowledge that they are annoying to play against, but I'd rather have the annoying cards to play against and have the option. 
So is my opponent playing Zabu Darkhawk and he just snaps and I'm gonna respect the snap. You got your Zabu out, fine. But um, I'd rather have the leader and arrow at full power. And then free to play players have options in terms of defeating pay to win decks. If you can outplay them and play the decks well. Well, I think I'll wait on Blade. This is often the case. Lockjaw will be a bit inhibited by the Central Park squirrels taking up space. My opponent draws Zabu again. Of course, we wouldn't get Central Park when playing against the Galactus deck. That isn't how that works. There is the featured location, Rickety Bridge. Now oh, there's the Zabu. That's actually not bad for me. That is <laughs> that uh, is not ideal. Am I lucky enough to destroy the Zabu and not discard Lady Sif? He's playing Sentry. Okay. It's a good discard, and it did kill the Zabu. Wow, that is very lucky. My opponent isn't happy about it, and who can blame him? Do I play Captain Marvel or get an additional 4 power on the Apocalypse? This puts more power on the table right now. And in future turns, this will be 4, plus 4, plus 3. It's 11 as opposed to Captain Marvel's 6. Captain Marvel's is more flexible. I'm going to throw the swarm over to Rickety Bridge. Force my opponent to play something there, which he did. He's got his Dark Hawk. So he's got another Dark Hawk, which is worth nine. Currently, I'm up by, f I'm not up at all. So if he plays Dark Hawk and then a two power card for what? What two power card do these Dark Hawk decks run? Or two cost card? Hmm. Black Widow could gain him. Uh, no, it couldn't. We'll go to Showdown. Oh, he does have something for Rickety Bridge. Hyper. That is a surprise. I guess if he's running Sentry, it makes sense. Well, his non-standard card got the win. Yeah, good job, dude. Here's Abu Darkhawk, deck one. I suppose we will never get a developer to weigh in on if Zabu is functioning at the power level they intended, the Zabu Darkhawk deck. Is this what they had in mind for the meta when they made that card? And do they simply not want to nerf it because it is a battle pass card and it's making them money not to do it? Because that would be 
disappointing. Do I want to play Electro next turn? No, I think I want to play Gambit, so I'm not going to play Blade here. Discards Black Cat. What is he running? Okay, there's Lockjaw. That's fine. I'll be playing Gambit Blade this turn. Hopefully not discarding Hella, but we'll see. There's a, a decent chance that I do. Oh, and he's got Juggernaut. Okay. Well, I don't get to cycle them out. No, of course, we discard Hella first, sure. But there is a reasonable chance that I would. It would take some luck not to discard her there. I actually wonder if it's better to just put all power into the sunspot here. I'm not going to win Project Pegasus, but if I put all power into the sunspot, I need actually three power in sunspot, or four. Three ties. If I played Electro, I could get the power, assuming I draw a powerful six drop next round. Hmm. Or do I just pass here? I think I just pass. So he'll be at 19 at Project Pegasus. He has to play his Surfer to Savage Land, so we'll go to Showdown. There it is. I highly doubt he would have called a snap there. Leader, interesting. Sif seems like the play here. Face the might of There's Hella. There's Lockjaw. So I've discarded Death. Play arrow here. 
or Kingpin only works on turn six. Is he planning on uh, playing Magneto? Is he gonna Cosmo my Lockjaw perhaps? No? Oh. It's really not that good. Do I play Hella on Lockjaw? It'll cycle it out. What do I have in my deck still? Four cards, I think they're all stronger than Hella. One of them's Sunspot, that's not stronger. Let's do it. Yay, you got off your King Ben play. Good job. <laughs> okay. I mean, King Ben does look like fun. It's just, unfortunately, it's really telegraphed. But props to my opponent for trying it, and hopefully it works for him. That would be cool to see a Kingpin deck get to infinite. I would play that deck myself if I thought, if I see one that I think is good. Lockjaw and Sinister London. No, it doesn't get the uh, the double. It, the double won't get. Like, say I play Lockjaw, get a copy, and then I play Lady Sif. Copy the Lady Sif to the right lane. It won't get swapped out with Lockjaw because you have to play the card here. So I don't know though. Do I actually want to? do that anyway, so that when I play the cards there, they get copied. I don't think I do. I'm not sure this is the right line, but... Gambit is not going to destroy anything. Go Lady Sif, which will put a couple of discards on Apocalypse. Or no, just one discard on Apocalypse. And then swap her out. Is he gonna Cosmo my Lockjaw? No. doesn't pull anything at the moment. Get two Captain Marvels and then two Apocalypses. Is he gonna play Professor on Rickety Bridge most likely? Around Mr. London and Rickety Bridge. Okay, well, yes, you do win. Escaped. I 
Probably could have saved a cube there and retreated when he snapped with Daredevil. I should have anticipated the double Professor X since I was behind in tempo. Although, if Lockjaw had pulled something besides Hella, like uh, Infinite, um, Gigantus, even Hulk, I think I would have been in better shape. Alrighty, let's get down Gambit. Or, actually I think it's Morbius and then I play Gambit to Hala next turn. Otherwise I won't have it play next turn. Hopefully discard Apocalypse or Swarm. Death would be fine too if I later draw. I don't Captain Marvel. Well, nope, that deletes my Morbius, unfortunately, but I do still win Kiln. I think I just pass here and then play Infinite. Oh, I'm not sure that's going to go the way my opponent wants. Really? Does he have uh, Killmonger? Why is he snapping? He sees this, he sees I'm ahead of Kiln, and he snaps. Why? If he killmongers, he kills his Iceman. I have to see what he's got. Oh, he has Shang-Chi. Of course. Makes sense. Yeah, I could have saved the three cubes there easily. Of course he has Shang-Chi. That should have been obvious. I was not thinking well. Of course, if I had drawn a bigger card there, I would have been just fine. Bigger than Blade. And there are plenty in the deck. We'll go ahead and discard. Get started. Swarm, Captain Marvel are good targets. Of course it's the Hella. Sure. Seems it always is. Gambit will dispatch the bishop. Discard swarm, hopefully, but we'll see. Pull something big, okay. Got Wong. This will discard Captain Marvel. What kind of Wong deck is he playing? Wong Sarah. Swap out Lady Sif for something else. What if it's Hella? 
What if it isn't Hella? I think that's all I do, and I put the rest of the power into Sunspot. We'll see. Okay. So I think overall in this video so far I've gained 5 cubes, but certainly could have been 8 if I had recognized the obvious Shang-Chi play. The Doc Ock was likely a Galactus deck, and I don't know those decks real well. Do they typically run Shang-Chi? I think probably they do. Morbius got hit. Yeah, I think uh, Shang-Chi is a pretty typical card in a Galactus deck. Exactly for the Doc Ock play, so that should have been obvious to me, but it wasn't due to my own inexperience. And uh, I lost three extra cubes as a result. I am, I would say, in my own estimation, still a novice when it comes to recognizing pool 3 decks, though I can occasionally make good reads. That will improve over time. Do I play Morpheus here? I think I do. Or do I just pass and then play Infinite? I'm going to pass, put the power into Sunspot, and play Infinite. Don't get the infinite. Is it Captain Marvel? Is it? Yeah, I guess it's Captain Marvel. That's eh, not that good. The storm play was unexpected and hit pretty hard. This is a Cerebro 2's deck, and I can't beat Cerebro Mystique, which is typically what they finish with. I can't even beat Blue Marvel. play Blade, hopefully don't discard Lady Sif. Yeah, of course we do. Okay, try to destroy something. 
hopefully discard Apocalypse, but likely we'll discard Captain Marvel, because that's the one that I want to play next round. There we go, two for two on the discarding exactly what we don't want to discard. Pretty typical, feels like. is Apocalypse. So this is a retreat. Escaped. Well, that's where I'll end the video. So I think I gained overall three cubes. Could have easily gained another three and been at plus six cubes, which is not fantastic, but it's respectable. Uh, ran into a, a number of Galactus and one Darkhawk deck today and uh, going up against those pay to win decks the Galactus and the Zabu Darkhawk is very very difficult with no pool 4 or 5 cards don't expect to win those matchups a lot did fine in the other matchups though and so overall cube gains are fine when I think I had I'm not sure how many games against Galactus and Darkhawk, to be honest, but it's felt like a lot today, and a lot in general in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and man, that's a tough place for the game to be for uh, free-to-play players. That is that is not free-to-play friendly. Now, the game is exceptionally free-to-play friendly in Pool 1 and 2, and props to the game for that, and so it draws you in thinking it's going to be the most free-to-play friendly game most free-to-play friendly card game that I know of, and then you realize in Pool 3, they throw you to the wolves if you don't spend money. They really do. Because in Pool 3, you don't match up against players around your collection level. You match up against everyone. And if you win a lot, then you get matched up against... Well, it takes into account MMR and collection level. And so if you win a lot, your MMR goes up and you face higher collection level, so I suspect in Pool 3 it's not taking collection level into account too much, but man, this month just facing a constant stream of Zabu, Darkhawk, and uh, Galactus is not fun. I wouldn't be complaining, of course, if I had access to those cards, and I wouldn't be complaining if I had to pay for those cards, but a reasonable amount. But the Galactus is a Pool 5 card. He's never going to be demoted into Pool 4. And pool 5 cards, somebody did the math and found that they cost $225 if you want to get one. Darkhawk is also a pool 5 card and it costs $225. I would pay $10, I would pay $20, maybe even $30, maybe as high as $50, but I'm not paying $200 for one card. Back in my Star Wars CCG days, $200 would have bought you two full boxes. More than two full boxes of cards. $200 was double the price of the most expensive Star Wars CCG card. $200 in Hearthstone would buy you a lot. So I can't justify paying $200 for one card and playing it constantly against players who have either gotten incredibly lucky and gotten the 0.25% the draw and gotten the card they wanted, or they're paying to win. Man, that's a bad place for the game to be. That's, in my opinion, going to make a lot of money in the short run, but you burn out your player base. That's bad for the game in the long run. Just my opinion. And it is an opinion born of frustration, so it is biased. But, anyway, thanks for watching.